Insertion of a central venous catheter. Infection prevention and control. IPC principles and best practices. This is the equipment needed for the insertion of a central venous catheter. Alcohol-based hand rub. Cap, surgical mask and protective eyewear. Two pairs of sterile gloves. A sterile gown. Alcohol-based chlorhexidine or an equivalent disinfectant for skin antisepsis. The insertion kit, which should contain equipment for skin antisepsis and sterile drapes. The central venous catheter. Sutures on a curved needle. A needle driver. Sterile saline and local anaesthetic. Sterile gauze and adhesive dressing or a transparent adhesive dressing. Probe head, probe cover and sterile gel for ultrasound guided insertion. Perform hand hygiene before preparing the perfusion. Prepare all materials on a clean and disinfected surface. Assemble stop cocks and tubes using an aseptic technique. Connect the infusion set to the perfusion and purge the system. Perform hand hygiene before touching the patient. The central venous catheter is placed by two operators, a physician and an assisting nurse. The operators wear clean clothes, surgical masks, eye protection and caps. Confirm the identity of the patient, explain the procedure and make sure that you have the patient's consent. Place the patient in the supine position with the arms alongside the body. The physician locates the anatomical structures by using ultrasound or, if unavailable, using the landmark technique. Landmark between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and mark the site for insertion. Monitoring devices are installed, ECG, pulse oximeter and blood pressure cuff. The patient's hair must be entirely covered by a cap. To avoid any risk of contamination, the insertion site must be completely free of hair or electrodes. Oxygen delivery devices are applied. The site must be clean. If not, visible soiling is removed with soap and water and the skin dried. The head of the patient is turned away from the insertion site. Adjust bed elevation to the height of the operator to allow ergonomic working and put the patient to the Trendelberg position. The working table must be cleaned and disinfected using alcohol or another non-corrosive disinfectant. You may use ready-made wipes, but do not use sprays. Perform hand hygiene before preparing the equipment. The physician puts on sterile gloves. The insertion kit is prepared using an aseptic technique. The assisting nurse prepares the skin disinfectant. The skin antiseptic is applied by moving the applicator back and forth for at least 30 seconds, starting at the catheter insertion site and then extending to the entire work area. After hand hygiene, The physician moves to sterile gowning under the surveillance and help of the assisting nurse. The physician puts on a new pair of sterile gloves. Application of a small sterile drape at the access site is followed by unfolding a large sterile drape to cover the entire patient. The assisting nurse adds needle driver sutures on a curved needle, the central venous catheter, the ultrasound cover, sterile gel 
and gauze to the insertion kit. The physician prepares the ultrasound using an aseptic technique and attaches the system to the sterile drape. The physician once again locates the anatomical structures by ultrasound or landmark technique and applies local anaesthetic. All catheter lumens are flushed with sterile saline. Using ultrasound or referring to the marked site by landmark technique, the physician punctures the vein. The guide wire is introduced through the needle. After applying a small incision, the dilator is introduced and removed. The central venous catheter is then introduced over the guide wire. The guide wire is removed. Patency is tested by retrograde aspiration of the blood in all lumens which are flushed with 10 milliliters sterile saline immediately. The catheter clamp is fixed with sutures. The clip is then placed on the catheter clamp and fixed likewise. Catheter and insertion site are disinfected using alcohol-based chlorhexidine or an equivalent disinfectant for skin antisepsis. The tubes are connected to the catheter and the drapes are removed. In case tissue drapes are used, drapes must be removed before connecting the tubes. Sterile gauze and adhesive dressing or transparent adhesive dressing, whichever is available, is applied. Make sure to avoid air bubbles or fluid collection. In case of oozing at the site of insertion, a gauze dressing should be applied. The dressing, regardless of whether it is gauze or transparent, must adhere tightly to the skin. Do not cover gauze dressings using a transparent adhesive dressing or apply two transparent adhesive dressings on top of one another. The use of an impregnated chlorhexidine sponge or dressing may be considered according to your local hospital policy. When discarding sharps, be sure to place them in a sharps container. X-ray control must be performed to check the correct catheter tip's location and for the presence of a pneumothorax or pleural effusion. Be sure to document in the patient's medical records the date and time of the insertion, the type of catheter, the insertion site, and a comment about the insertion procedure whether it was eventless or if any problems occurred.